14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 0. Welcome back to Indy, the talk of the town. You're listening to Dimera and Chris. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hope everybody had a wonderful Valentine's Day weekend with your lover or with the ones that you love. Well, I tell you what, Brooke, I had an awesome time. I know we talked in the first segment a little bit about your great time. But uh, let me tell you kind of like what Big Daddy Chris over here did. Okay. All right. Well, you know, of course it was Valentine's Day, and, you know, my wife was like, hmm, okay, what you going to do? So she played the trump card. Mm -hmm. So she uh, flew in some crab and some shrimp. And wait a minute, Maryland, wait a minute, wait a minute. She flew in? Flew in from Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, she's the bomb. Oh, uh, look, there was this big package on dry ice. It was sitting on the front porch. I opened that thing up. She had crab dip. She had crab, big thick thunder crab uh, cakes, had um, shrimp, had all types of other things, had some Kobe beef with some burgers, and uh, she said, now, don't mess it up, just turn the oven on, I'll be home soon. <laughs> I like her. Oh, I like her too. <laughs> Man, we sat down there, and we was just, we didn't know what to do, we was just eating and just dipping and Mm, just eating all the good stuff. So I said, so I'm like, so what you trying to do? She said, what you trying to do? So we had a big event, uh, Valentine's Day, over at the Kingsley Terrace Church of Christ. Amen. And we, the marriage uh, couples ministry. So we had a great time. There was about 25 to 30 couples that were there. Uh, the food was catered by uh, Tastefully Soul Food on uh, East 38th Street. And uh, we had some good eating. We had some good performances. And uh, I even had to perform for my baby. What? You performed? Oh, that's uh, right. Chris can sing, y'all. We're going to have him sing know, on the show later. I, I had to put on a little something, you know, to make her you know, understand how much she was greatly appreciated. But see, all the other men and women, they were trying to, you know, do something for their loved ones on a level that, you know, people could really understand. But I had to, you know, step it up a little bit further because, you know, my main thing was, uh, you know, it all, it has to feel good. So I played a little Chuck Mangione, and you know, <laughs> when you have a little Chuck Mangione going on, you know, I had to break out the trumpet, and the people were like, oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yeah, and so I was blowing a little Chuck Mangione, and then besides that, I had to come up with some confunction, and oh, yeah, it was uh, uh, definitely a great time, great time, and then I sang and I danced for her, and then I almost passed out. But you know what? Sometimes you have to do those type of things, you know, because it's really all about having some, you know, some fun, fun. That's what I'm talking about. You know? It like you got the perfect Oh, plan. yeah. So what I had to do was bring out the trumpet, go back in the day, get in front of her and say, hey. <laughs> and she was just like, sit down. I was da 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 then I said, bro, guess what I told her? What'd you say? I want to thank you for your love so true. <laughs> your tender love and put your mind on you. I'll take you up and we'll go out and dance. You kiss my lips and we'll have fun, fun, fun. Hey, Sonia, hey. if you're out there, I hope you're listening. <laughs> ah. You know, your husband wanted to dedicate this night all over again Oh, to you. yes, I did. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And besides the look on her face, all I know is that when we got home, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Well, Chris, you know. I, I certainly couldn't top that at all. Oh. Uh, what I did, I, I turned on Pandora, right. and my husband, he loves Sade, okay? Oh. You know, so I, I turned it on Sade and let that... Play. Let, let, you know, let the music I can't play. sing. Uh -huh. None well, of that. well, I mean, you know, you know, I, I do have a little skill, so you know, I just had to dust dust some of the, you know, the dust off the trumpet, and you know, she had to taste taste these lips again. So you know, that's what we have to do. But getting back to the great things about this show, I tell you what, what's really important about this show is that there's going to be some exciting uh, things that are going to happen. Uh, 
what is this show really about? And, you know, when we, the two of us got together, we started thinking, uh, what do you think this show is about, Dimera? This show is, you know, it has a lot of great content in it. We're going to be talking about the events, what's going on in Indianapolis. Hey. We need to know what's going on in Indianapolis, the latest fashion. We're going to be talking about some of the hit reality shows such as Empire. We're going to have a segment on Fifty Shades of Grey. We're going to be talking about technology, oh. business, mm. sex and relationships. Okay. Our show, we have a mouthful and an earful. Well, that's your point of view. Yeah. Okay, so my point of view, because someone has to get the bills paid around here, and somebody has to make sure that this show is going to be stable. So what I like to do is every week bring in a new business that we can talk to and help promote their business. Because I think out of all the 300,000 plus listeners here in the Indianapolis area, they need to understand that Radio Next and the Cool Jazz Station with Indy Talk of the Town, Chris and Damir, are going to help promote and grow their business. But more importantly, it's going to help forge more relationships for them to understand, hey, there's some tools, there's some ideas, there's some things that can be done uh, to you know, help them grow. So that's what I would like to try to bring to, the, to this uh, show, uh, a voice for local businesses each and every week but we also want to talk about all the business, the mayors, the hot topics, the current events, and you know, the, the, the you know good topics that we need to discuss. Now, here's one thing. I want to ask you a question. What's cool, and what's not cool? So, when it comes to, let's just say marriages, what's cool? What's cool? What's cool is going with the flow, in my opinion. You know, having an understanding for what each other, you know, the interests of each other. You know, you just go off the flow of one another, you know. And that's what marriage is about. You know, having fun and learning each other and tapping into each other's world. Mm -hmm. So that world is just unique in itself, is that right? That is right. Okay, so... So, so how long have you been married, Chris? Well, be five years, May the 7th. Congratulations. Uh, I know you got me beat. You've been married, what, seven years Seven now? years. Seven man. long <laughs> years. Long. I see the ankle uh, anchor you got around you. Yeah. <laughs> I see you've been paroled to come out and do the show, huh? God is good. Oh, God is real good. Well, I tell you, you know, being married is really what it's about because you can enhance your life. You can grow old together. You can share things. But more importantly, uh, you can have great uh, influence on other people uh, as they're doing things. So I think the most important thing that, you know, being married at, at my age group, yes, I'm in the 50s, and at your age group, you're in the... 30s. Okay. There, there's a couple of different worlds there, but I, I think overall, you're growing to get to my group, and I'm looking back at what's going on in your group to try to keep things going and, and make it really work and, and viable like that. But, you know... Um, I just want to find out, in some ways, what's not cool? Well, first of all, I would like to say, before I answer that question, mm, okay. I would like to say shout, shout out to all the married couples. Yeah, yeah. And I also have one of my best girlfriends, my sister, Monique Johnson, who just got engaged for Valentine's Day. Hey, hey. So I want to send a special shout out to Monique, who's currently listening. Love you, and I'm so happy for you. Well, that's good. Now, what's not cool? Come on now. What's not cool? Mm -hmm. What's not cool is arguing all the time. Woo! You know, like, somebody like that? The stress. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Let's talk about that argument. What causes <laughs> arguments? Just little bitty stuff, you know. I know with us women, we, you know, it can be sex that causes arguments with our men. They're, they're frustrated, you know, because we're not always in the mood, and... You know, keeping that spice is very important in, in a marriage and in any relationship, you know. You want to be able to please your man because you don't want him to go anywhere else, right? Uh, well, I'm not a man, but yeah, you're right about that. I don't want to go nowhere else. <laughs> but you're exactly right. Uh, arguments, that just causes a frustration and it, it just tears away from things because what about saying nice things about one another? When was the last time that our spouse has just said something really nice? Or let's reverse that. 
when was the last time we said something really nice to them? For example, Chris. Well, that's, a good, that's a good point. I like that. Well, I told my wife this morning I loved her when I was leaving out the door. Now, usually she doesn't like to get awakened because she has to go on later during the day. But saying I love you before I left, the last thing she heard was I love you instead of me waking her up. That was very sweet. I have an example myself. So, mm -hmm. I went and got my hair done for our anniversary. Mm -hmm. I dyed it red, and I love it. Um, but my hairstylist, she was saying, hey, you know, will your husband say anything about your hair? Does he recognize your hair? Will he give you a compliment? I'm just asking because I would like to know. You know, I would like to hear some feedback. And I said, oh, goodness, yeah, he definitely pays attention to me. Like, he will tell me, hey, that ain't the look for you. Or you got on too much makeup. And I really appreciate that about my husband because he does pay attention to me. So that's an example of a, a nice, something nice he would say is, babe, you look you look very sexy. Or that, that makeup and your hair looks great on you. Or, baby, you're beautiful without makeup. You know, and it goes a long way for us women, believe it or not. And so we have to return the favor to our men, or to our husbands. Well, that's what it's all about. We have to do that. Hey, well, you know, we're going to pick this up as we go a little further. Are we still listening to Najee over there? Jessica, come yeah, Okay, field. let's go ahead and get uh, Najee going. We're going to take a break. Come on back and join us on Any Talk of the Town, featuring Chris and Dimera. We'll be back shortly. romantic restaurant. 